Good evening and welcome back to the Three Pillars Podcast. I'm your host, Chase Tobin, a.k.a. Tobinator, the Motivator. Uh, tonight's episode, episode seven. Man, seven episodes. Thank you guys for being with me on this, this journey. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I apologize for getting this out a day late. I had a little bit of technical difficulties yesterday. Apparently, I can't go live on my mobile phone. Uh, it's about the only time I had this week. I was trying to go live last night. It didn't work out. Hopefully, I can get there. The only way I can get there is if you guys help me share this message. I need, I don't know how many more subscribers, probably like 100, I think. Uh, I think we're like 40-something now, so that'd be cool uh, to be able to go live from the mobile. That way, I could just have a talk with you guys rather than pre-recording this stuff. I think that would be kind of neat. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, episode seven. Tonight, we're going to talk about humor. And I'm really not that funny, but we're going to break the ice like a polar bear on his first date. So, boom. We'll see what happens. It's going to be humor in, in light of like serious situations. So we'll get there uh, here shortly. It's, again, not that funny. It's going to be probably a short episode, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just we'll just kind of see what happens. So again, if you guys have liked this, this uh, content so far, if you've liked uh, the podcast, please give it a share. Um, like it, subscribe, uh, tell your friends. At least, you know, hey, subscribe to this guy. He might have something cool to say once in a while. And like I said, we'll see what happens. So uh, without further ado, let us uh, let's pray before we get started. And uh, we'll jump in, uh, let's see, we'll talk about humor a little bit, all right? So, Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this week. It's been a great week. Lord, thank you for the blessings that you give each and every one of us. Lord, I, I ask that you just uh, bless anybody tuning in right now with whatever they got going on in their life. Lord, just let them know uh, you give them peace and strength and just keep them uh, rooted and, and let them know you uh, are in control, Lord. Lord, I ask that you just be with me tonight. Uh, as we uh, delve into just another topic that you put on our hearts, Lord. Lord, give everybody uh, ears to hear and eyes to see. And Lord, just use me to convey your uh, your truth, Lord. And Lord, I ask you to just uh, be with this nation. Uh, I know there's a lot of stuff going on right now. Lord, I just ask that you just uh, bring us peace. In your most holy name we pray. Amen. All right. Humor. All right, and it really, th th this was a request sent out to me um, by my buddy Mike. Uh, he was asking uh, to do a talk about humor, uh, how to how to find some to kind of light using humor uh, in serious situations. All right, there's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now, and I'm not going to get political with this podcast. I don't want to get political with this podcast. <laughs> what I do want to talk about is. How to really, I'm trying to think of how to put this. Because again, I don't I don't script this stuff out, really. I, I usually have notes. I don't even have notes tonight. I just want to kind of talk about it off the top of my head. Um, a lot of stuff going on in the world. Um, let's just use memes for an, ex for an example. All right. It's a new thing. People have been sharing pictures and stuff forever. All of a sudden, it's got a, a, a term called meme. All right. There's a lot of really funny stuff out there. The, the the issue that we run across is people are offended by everything. All right. Just laugh a little bit, guys. There's some really heinous stuff going on in the world. Some stuff you may or may not agree with. But if somebody shares something, instead of getting all just upset over it, if you don't like it, keep scrolling. If it makes you laugh and makes your day a little brighter, just gut chuckle a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I think that's important because humor and laughter and trying to make light of stuff. Some people do it kind of as a, like a nervous habit. There's, huh? Yeah, that's funny. Um, some people generally just, that's how, that's their coping mechanism. I, I served a lot of guys in the Marine Corps that were hilarious, but that was their coping mechanism. Is if their stuff's just really just miserable, terrible going on around them, they make some kind of funny joke or like, man, you know, this would be much better if we were on a beach or something, something just dumb, right? Everybody's like, yeah, yeah, it'd be, it'd be much better than sitting in this hole we're in right now. You know, l little things like that. You got to have some something that lightens this, lightens the mood, whether it's a funny joke, a picture. And listen, when you're in your little circle of friends, and we've all got our little circle of friends, <laughs> guys, girls, doesn't matter. Y'all probably say some kind of heinous things to one another, but they're funny. And again, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna condemn anybody for stuff that they've they've said. I've said a lot of just off color stuff, and you know, a lot of it's real funny. Let's just be real for a minute. But 
that's between you and your friends, right? Like when you start putting stuff out there for people to see on public forums, you got to be more cognizant of. If you don't care, fine, whatever makes make people laugh. But in your little like groups, it's it's cool to laugh about stuff, in my opinion. Especially if you're like like in the military. If that's all you got is somebody who's. If you got your comic relief and your squad or platoon that gets you guys to a lot of some dark stuff, I don't care what kind of stuff they're saying. You got to stick it together. Now, that being said. There was an incident a long time ago with a bunch of Marines in the country who got into a firefight, got into it with some Taliban and uh, urinated on the bodies and posted it to YouTube. Is that something we should do? Probably not. And then again, I'm not going to say whether they were right or they were wrong. It's you guys formulate your own opinion. But none of us were there. Can't tell you what was going through their heads. Maybe they found it funny. I don't know. I'm not saying it's it's good to desecrate a corpse like that. But, again, this is about as real as I can be on podcasts. Um, had they not told a soul, who would have known about it? I don't know. Especially a guy who's probably, like, murdered one of their buddies or, you know, there's some pretty heinous things there, platoon. Or maybe, maybe the people were messing with kids. We don't mess with kids, right? Everybody's all big to talk about, oh, we should put pedophiles and wood chippers, right? Till it comes time to put a pedophile on a wood chipper, like, you know, put that stuff on YouTube, right? Kind of dark, kind of funny. I don't know. I don't know if you find it funny or not. I'm just gonna gonna go. I'm just I'm just telling you guys what's what's out there in the world, right? There's all these different spectrums, all these different viewpoints and things like that. But at the end of the day, you gotta laugh. And some stuff is just funny. And there's there's comedians out there have been telling off color, heinous, hilarious stuff forever, and all of a sudden everybody's offended by everything. Listen, I used to watch Friday night stand up like every Friday when I was in like high school. Stuff's just funny, it's entertaining. But everybody's, oh, you can't say that anymore because of whatever reason, cancel culture or whatnot. Sometimes you just gotta laugh. There's a, again, we've had a year from just, oh, it's been awful, right? Everybody's lives been turned upside down. What have you got? Everybody, if you're stuck in your house and aren't going anywhere, if you can only go to and from the grocery store, whatever you're doing, if you're only what, and if you happen to scroll through your phone to see something funny, don't be afraid to laugh. All right, laughter is good for your whole your whole your whole body. All right, because it, it's released some good endorphins, keeps you like chuckling and stuff like that. But again, the flip side of it, right? What are you laughing at? What is your kind of humor geared towards? Is it real dark? Is it real light? Like a lot of stuff like that. And at the end, it doesn't make you necessarily a good or bad person, but be cognizant of what you're putting in your body. That's one of the first episodes we talked about. What are you feeding your body with? Just be cognizant of it. That's all I'm saying. I'm not telling you what you can and can't laugh, can and can't what think is funny. All right. Just be cognizant of because you're if you're taking in too much of uh, of something. Obviously, we talked about balance not that long ago. If you're taking in too much of one thing, are you really filling it that uh, that void full of something else? Just something to think about. I think humor humor is great. My wife is hilarious. If you've never hung out with my wife, which most of you probably haven't, but uh, and she's not on really on social media at all right now. But uh, if you ever get to Come hang out. And most of you guys can attest to it. Uh, she's a trip. All right. But it's just, it's, that's just, that's just her personality. She just cracks jokes and stuff like that. And it's fine to do that. Especially again, when, if there's like a bunch of people who are just real somber and want to talk about, but like, crack a joke, man. Let people lighten up. Like I, I, I get that, you know, sometimes you got to be serious. I do. I do. There's a time and place for cracking jokes. There's time and place to be serious, but sometimes you can get a little hybrid mix of it too. All right. You shouldn't be so full of yourself and too cool to tell a joke. In my opinion. Lighten up, dude. Oh, man. It's kind of a not really difficult to topic, but I, I can't say a lot about it. Again, I'm really not that funny of a guy. I apologize. But uh, I think humor in, in, in light of serious events um, is a good thing, though. Like, even in, even in like, tragedy... Um, you know, even like the death of a loved one or something like that. Remember something funny they did or a joke they did or or something like that. Just find that kind of humor uh, to remember them by. Um, but you think of something like, there's some things you just can't laugh at though, right? 
and we'll end on this. Some things you just can't laugh at, like, you know, volcanic eruption, wiping out a village. Not really funny. Um, hurricane coming through and decimating an entire, like, town. Not that funny. We talk about, you know, all the just horribly inhumane stuff that happens to children all over the world. Not that funny. So, at the end of the day, use your discretion, use your discernment, use your God-given brain in between your uh, your ears there and figure out uh, when it's appropriate or not. If you don't know, let me know. If you get about to... <laughs> I used to tell some of my Marines sometimes, look, uh, before you say anything to anybody, sometimes come to me first, tell me what you're about to say, and I'll tell you if you can say it or not, right? Uh you know, not like I'm the gatekeeper with all that stuff, but you, sometimes you really have to think about what you're going to say. Uh, think before you speak. Um, but again, don't be afraid to tell a joke. I know there's a lot of people who are, oh, this is off color and blah, blah. Listen, there's people, go, if you get on TikTok, if you get on, and I'm not on TikTok, but if you get on any of these other platforms, there's people cracking jokes in there, but I don't care if you're black, white, purple, or green. Uh, black people be like, white people be like, Asian people be like, and it's funny. Most people can generally laugh at this stuff, but then all of a sudden it's racist to talk about that. No, there's only like a handful of people that are like whining about this stuff, and they're the only ones like making these like crazy TikTok videos, like, oh, I know this stuff is just not, you know, blah, 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 blah. When the comedians are like, you just don't have a sense of humor, man. Like, I don't know what you're doing. Anybody else? There's like a million people over here who think this is hilarious, and there's like five of you that are like, meh, like, and, and I get it. People have different things that go on in their heads that are like, you know, maybe they think it's off color because something bad happened in their life. But man, you can't make you can't make everybody happy all the time. The minute you try to do that and try to appease everybody, it doesn't work out. So, anywho, a little off script. I have nothing. I got no notes. Got nothing else going on tonight. Um, but. I, I really do think it is an important coping mechanism. So how does that relate to the three pil pillars of fitness, of, uh, you know, fitness and wellness? Obviously, mental mental health helps you just, like, whoosa, decompress, everything like that. Physiologically going on, again, there's some, some I don't, I'm not a, uh, a psychology major. I used to, I took a couple classes in college, but I know there's probably some dopamine, serotonin that goes off, makes you go, ha that's really funny. It makes you get this happy feeling. Uh, spiritually, you know that's the that's where you got to start working on on that kind of fine line, right? Uh, you remember the old bracelets of what would Jesus do bracelets? Look at that. Would Jesus tell an off color joke? I don't know. Uh, wasn't there? Um, I know he's a man who lived without sin. Hmm. Really, something to think about, though. You know what I mean? I'm sure he cracked a joke or two. I don't know if they were off color. I don't. I don't. That's something you can look into your for, for yourself, though. So the the I guess the the point of the whole uh, this whole message, and we'll wrap up real fast. Just be mindful of your audience. If you're talking to people and you're telling jokes, that doesn't make you a racist. Doesn't make you a bigot or a homophobe or anything like that. Because guess what? All those people who are calling you racist, bigot, and a homophobe, they're in a group chat of their own telling some off the wall stuff about you. So nobody's innocent. Like ye who cast the first stone or ye who's without sin cast the first stone, right? There's nobody out there who's calling you X, Y, or Z who isn't doing something kind of heinous on the side too, right? And maybe they're just not funny and they're just like, like me, I'm not funny at all. But maybe they're just not funny and they're just mad that they're not funny and you're funny and they're just upset they can't make somebody laugh. Go look up a joke. Listen, here's your homework for next week. Go find a little popsicle and on the popsicle when you when you eat it, there's going to be a little joke on the stem, you know, on the stick. When you get to the end, uh, uh, find the answer to the joke. I want you to put the joke in the comments because uh, I'm a big fan of dad jokes, right? So uh, that being said, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, I will leave you with, with a dad joke. Uh, what did the salad family say uh, before they had dinner at night? Father says, let us pray. Heavenly Father. Thank you again for this uh, this time to just minister to your flock. Lord, uh, we we honor you every single day. We, we thank you for giving us the free will to go about life and to choose you. 
Lord, because a lot of things we could choose in this world, but thank you for giving us the opportunity to choose you. Thank you for the what you did on the cross. Thank you for taking away our sin. Thank you for loving us despite the fact we don't deserve it, Lord. But we love you and we believe in you. And we're going to do everything we can to just spread, spread your joy to the world. And if it's through humor, so be it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys. I really appreciate you tuning in again. I know it's a short podcast tonight. A little bit uh, hip pocket off the, off the, off the uh, you know, from the hip, as it were. You like that? From the hip. If you did enjoy this, uh, like, subscribe, comment, share, whatever you got. If you got a joke, tell it. Uh, and and you guys, uh, you guys mean a lot to me. So I appreciate it. Episode seven, we're all done. Uh, we'll see you next week. Episode eight, uh, offhand, I don't remember what we're talking about next week, but I will figure it out and uh, you'll know next Thursday. Hopefully, I won't have any technical difficulties. Like I said, kind of hit me in the bud last night, but it's all good. Anywho, ladies and gents, Tobin it out. Hoorah.